In this video, we are going to see how to post tweets from Notion, which is an online note building platform. So every time a new database item is added here. So you want that data to be tweeted in your Twitter. How would you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Notion and your action application would be Twitter. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. Here we have reached the all applications page and I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. Here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. So let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time a data is added in Notion, then from there automatically it should be posted as a tweet on Twitter. So I'm going to name it as post tweets from Notion automatically. Okay, and now I'm going to click on create. So as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now as per the integration, our trigger application would be Notion. Let's click on this. And now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make your workflow start. So here it would be new database item. So this workflow is going to trigger when a new item is created in a database. So I'm going to select this. And now here on the right hand side, you can see it is written. This trigger will check for new data in every eight hours, which basically means that this trigger application has a pooling time of eight hours. So the workflow is going to run in every eight hours to check for new data. Now I'm going to click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Notions account and to set up this connection, I'm going to select add new connection and then connect with Notion. So now here you can see that Pabli Connect is requesting access to Pabli Connect. So basically here we have to select the pages. I'm going to select all the pages and once I have selected, I'm going to click on allow access. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we have to fill in the database ID and to understand this, first I'm going to take you to my Notions account. And here you can see that I've already created a lot of pages. These are the different pages that I've created. Now, how can you create your own page? So you can just go to this plus icon and add a page. So once you have done, see, this is the page that I have created. The name is Twitter data. And here we have got two column fields. One is tweet data and another one is date. So on which particular date, this data has been inculcated in this database. So we'll get the date here. So now I'm going to add some data over here. So let's say that I want to wish new year and that's what I want to tweet. The matter here is I can't wait to see where the next year brings us. Wishing you nothing but happiness in the new year. And what is the date? So the date is today. So today that this particular data has been inculcated in our sheet. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as we do that here, we have received the API response and here is the URL. This is the content. So this is our content to be tweeted and here is the plain text and then we also have the time. So this is the date when it was inculcated in our sheet. And this is the time. So once we have received this, what is my objective? My objective is to tweet the content that we have received here. So here I'm going to add my next action application, which is Twitter. So I'm going to click on this and the action event here would be to create tweet. So I'm just going to choose create tweet. If you have some URL or some image, you can choose create tweet with media. Let's click on connect. 
and now I'm going to select add new connection as Pabli Connect wants to connect itself with the Twitter account. And now let's click on connect with Twitter. I have already logged into my Twitter account. So it is asking me to authorize the application. Let's click on this. And here you can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, here we have to map the message. Mapping basically means that I already have this data in my previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. And how do I do this? As soon as I click on this, it is going to show me the previous step and here is the content. So this is the message that has to be tweeted. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. Here we can see that we have received the response and now I'm going to take you to my Twitter account. Here it is and let's refresh the page quickly. So as I take you down here, you can see 12 seconds before we had posted this particular tweet. So this basically means that our integration process is a success. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Notion and our event was new database item and our action application was Twitter and the event was to create tweet. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.